Copeland reporting in. Today we're going to be going over Your Honor by Justin Vernon. And um, I want to share this song with you um, mainly because uh, I really like the chords, but also it has a really good message of just asking us uh, we have so much that we can use our lives for, and what are we going to use it for? Are we going to use it for the good of others, or are we going to use it to kind of indulge in ourselves? And it's an interesting question. I really like this line. What will you do with your will? Will you empty, or will you fill? And I think I definitely have a tendency to want to... Um, empty others for my benefit instead of filling others so um, yeah let's do it so um, the verse is going to be I mean let's start off with the intro the whole song your right hand is going to be going thumb on the A string and then index finger on the G string middle finger on the B string <laughs> And you're going to alternate between thumb and plucking the index and middle finger together. So that's going to be this. So we got a B minor to start off. B string and then you're barring the rest with your index finger. And then we go up to a B, I mean a G, which um, this G is just an A bar chord up to the 10th fret. And then we go to a B minor. And this B minor is the same B minor, just an octave up. So starting on that 14th fret. Remember that the 12th fret is the octave, so everything after this is the same as the beginning. So we move up one, two, one, one, two. Move up one, two, one, two. Go. B minor. And then we got this cool E minor. Instead of um, playing E minor like this, we only have to keep our fingers on these strings because we're not playing the B string, we're only playing the A, G, and B strings. And then you go to the C, the C diminished, C sharp diminished. And that C sharp diminished is probably one of the coolest chords in the song, so that's going to be 11th fret on the D string, uh, 9th fret on the G string, 8th fret on the B string. It's really cool that the E minor and the C sharp diminished share two notes, so you're kind of pivoting from one chord to the other. You got the Whenever you're changing chords, if you can keep at least one note in there the same, it makes it for a smoother chord um, transition. So once again, E minor. Sometimes some play the still the low E on the A string. That seventh fret is an E. Just play around with that. And then we go back to a B minor. To an A add nine. This fret on the G string is a B, which is the ninth note in the A chord. So we got, and then I'll sometimes do a little sus here, he'll go onto the third fret of the B string. Third 
fret on the E string, fourth fret on the G string, open B chord. And then he'll go to this B, and all you're doing is playing Bs. Second fret of the A string is a B, fourth fret of the G string is a B, open B string. And then we get into verse 1. Cool? So let's play the intro all together. So we got... Oh, another thing to do is when you're feeling this song, I, I seriously do not know the time signature of this, and it's really confusing. So I, the goal of this video is not to get the timing completely correct, but hopefully give you a foundation, some broad strokes, so you can figure out the song for yourself. So don't take what I'm doing as canon time-wise, but something that's going to help you play with the video is to have a vibe of like feeling the feeling the downbeat so one and two and three and four and one and two and feeling count one almost like a waltz is gonna help you if, if you just do it all statically all the same you're gonna lose you're gonna lose the like skeleton of the rhythm if that makes sense. You're going to lose the backdrop. So if you can keep that, it's going to help keep you grounded and know where the next bar starts. So let's try it again in context. Danger is knocking at the door. Don't let your heart the floor. So he's just playing that same G back to B minor. And then I'll do this cool little, little bass walk. And that's just open A back to B. Let's try verse one again. Who the safety is for? Danger keeps knocking at the door. Don't let your heart with your ring and pinky finger. 
Since we're never playing the D string, you don't need to bar this. But if you want to look cool and you want to lose your joints and have arthritis, then you want to do this. And he does a little slide there. Please get this caught in your eye. And then he goes to B minor. E minor again. C sharp diminished. There is suffering. There is suffering. Just like the intro. Yeah, then he, he, he hangs on the B octave instead of B minor. Sweet. So, uh, verse three is going to be the same as verse one, but we're going to start off on the octave. So, no, this is not. No, at first you don't know. When your face advances in the corner. So on the second line of the verse, he adds the B minor. So he starts with the B octave. And then I'll add the, that high D. So uh, let's start from this, their suffering. There is suffering. There is suffering. No, at first, no, you don't. When your face advances the corner, time. Time's getting shorter and shorter Why waste your fire? So right there at the end of the verse again, he'll do the lower G. This time he does um, an E bar shape. If you don't want to do that, you can still do the version of the G. So it's, it's same thing. He doesn't go up here though. On the first and the third verses, he goes low. Okay, and then um, after that, why waste your fine line? He goes right into the A, A add 11 over C sharp. He doesn't play a B minor starting at this verse. He just goes right to the A. All these, all these notes that I'm looking at, I will make available in a Google Doc. This whole song is so sporadic. So I think when you see these notes, they're going to help you. But we're just going to keep going. So uh, C at 11. See, it's all that you fostered it for you. Can't you feel? Second to last verse, he'll start off with a G instead of a B minor. I don't know if he messed up in the song when he's playing it live, but he's playing a G, which works out well. So we're gonna we're gonna stick with it. So when he says, "You have gone to the sale," he just does a little cool like walk from the G to the B minor. You have gone to the sale. You have gone to the stable until what will you do with your will? Cool, we got a new, new chord here. We got an F sharp minor. Just like an E minor. Just shift it up to. So he goes, What will you do? He does that 
that, he has that sus again. Mm -hmm. The fall and getting cold. This is far and far from home. You're in the margin of time. What say you? What say your some cool chord shapes to this and um, maybe just get inspired by these licks I really love them so uh, feel free to leave any comments if anything that made any sense stay classy go vote boom